Life is What You Make It, music by Marvin Hamlish, lyrics by Johnny Mercer, theme from Shaft, music and lyrics by Isaac Hayes. And the winner is Isaac Hayes, theme from Shaft. I didn't have an advantage, I had to make mine. Uh, and when I tell my kids, they say, you did that? Yeah, I did that in order to survive. You don't know what tough is until you've gone through what I've gone through. I used to go to school hungry and come back home hungry. And I learned, still learn on the empty stomach. You need nutrition to learn, but I had, I had to do what I had to do. And I didn't accept my condition you know, sometimes you go in agreement with your condition, you never get out of that jam. First thing is survive. You know, uh, when you, um, when you, you almost orphaned, like my mother died when I was a year and a half and my father split. And I was left with a half-sister, my grandparents. And they, they raised us. And then my grandfather died when I was around 11 years old. Before he died, I was homeless because we had to split up. We had to live in different places. And I wound up with a guy that, uh, he was a drunk and he was thrown in jail, so I, I, I had nowhere to live. So I slept in parked cars and, and things like that. I just dropped out of school. I left, not, not that I wanted to, but I was so humiliated. Uh, you know, when, when you reach puberty and you start noticing girls, and I, I realized I didn't wear what the other guys were wearing. I, I had holes in my shoes and patches and all this kind of thing. Oh, I left out of humiliation. I was doing great in school, and I was smart. Fortunately, a delegation of teachers came to my house and told my grandmother, Miss Wade, Isaac hadn't been in school in six weeks. She looked at me, and that look she gave me, oh God. They said, this young man has too much to offer. We don't want to lose him. Uh, so we're going to put some together and try to help him survive, and we're going to give him some clothes and things like that. My grandmother kept me there, kept me on the right path, and, and the old lady had a hard time. She used to wash clothes for the neighborhood and people in the neighborhood, and she used to make me go to the cotton fields and pick cotton and chop cotton and, and all that, but I didn't get it at first. And I said, oh, my God, I can't go. But I realized it was, it, was, it was a work ethics that was developing. I had a good worth ethic because the way she raised me, and uh, I'm glad she did that. And so much so that I kept praying that the Lord kept her alive until I had an opportunity to thank her, really thank her like she should be. A, a talent contest came up. I wanted to be in it. And I, I showed up in the auditorium when they were auditioning. And I walked up, she what do you want to do? I, I, I don't want to sing. She said, what you want to sing? I said, I want to sing that, that King Cole song, Looking Back. Looking back over my life, I can see where I caused you strife. All right, I know the keys in there. I said, the piano player, I said, I'll follow you, start singing. He found my key. I started singing. And you know, in the auditorium, people milling around and blah, blah, blah. When I started singing, they stopped. They started looking at me. And when I finished, everybody, yeah, I won. I wanted to be a doctor at first, you know? So uh, I said, hmm, I think I can get used to this. Career change. So I want to be a, be a performer. So I got into that, and I started taking music appreciation and all that, so I won seven scholarships in vocal music. When I was nominated for an Oscar, uh, a lot of guys said, man, you're gonna, you're gonna, I'm not gonna take a fine day with you. No, no, I'm taking my grandmother. She's gonna be my day. When I won, 
I, I dedicated it to her. I gave it to her. In front of me, I had a chance to thank her in front of millions of people and honor her. And that was, that was a big thing for me. You're always creating. Uh, sometimes performing, you don't feel up to it. You know, you're tired. Physically, you might have laryngitis or something like that. But you can always find creativity in everything. Just look around you. Just listen. Listen to conversations. They, inspiration is all around you. Ideas are floating all around. So you can always create. Written by Isaac Hayes in the summer of 1967, as he watched the rioting in Detroit on TV and saw the word soul spray painted on buildings to mark black owned property to be spared, the song introduced a new phrase into the culture. Maybe I'm a, more of a creator than a performer, maybe. Hayes, who later had his own huge hit, Shaft, would back the new duo with Stack's distinctive brass section. The three horns would be standing on this side, mm -hmm. getting it down, and Isaac would be teaching, this is what I want in the horn. So actually, the Memphis horn sound, that's basically Isaac. Sometimes when I'm writing something, I can hear it in its entirety. <laughs> I love acting. I just don't do it enough. It's, it's a tough business. I heard Morgan Freeman on an interview last night, and uh, some people have it. You know, I, I have to work hard at it. Got plenty of cash. Tricks on the corner. I love to act. Gonna see you know, and, you and uh, I think I can nail a good part. I've like appeared in about 35 movies or something like that. I'm surprised when I hear about what I've done. I, f I forget about it, but uh, I'm always reminded what I've done. I did that. We gave my grandmother 100 birthday party. Bubba, my nickname. Bubba, we're going to talk to you. So, man, we never told you how proud of you, you we are. You know, so we wish we had done what you did. Said, so, you know, you stuck to it. Said, so, uh, whenever we see you on TV, hear your records playing, you represent us, man. We're proud of that. We just want you to know this. And that, that choked me, because uh, to hear that come from these guys, because they knew exactly what I went through. We all went through that. But I, I stayed on the right path. It was poverty on one side and an opportunity on this side, but I had to survive.